when you travel in Muslim countries, what you should never miss is the opportunity to take a Turkish bath, hammam. My most viewed YouTube video documented my first hammam experience in Turkey, where I would slap and sit around like a tuna. <laughs> But as the video got more views, I noticed many people are leaving comments recommending Moroccan Hammam. Since then, I have always wanted to try it, but I'd never been to Morocco. Until now. I recently visited Morocco for the first time and tried a traditional Moroccan Hammam in Marrakesh. So in this video, I'm gonna share that experience. Let's get started. Situated in central Morocco, Marrakech is one of the most famous and best known cities in Morocco. Nicknamed the Red City because of the walls that enclose the old Medina, Marrakech offers a mixture of history, traditions, landscapes, tasty food, and nice weather. Marrakech is probably one of the most chaotic cities in Morocco, or anywhere that I've ever been to. Its labyrinth of winding alleyways are almost impossible to navigate, where so many street vendors, spice dealers, and tour guides try to beg on you into their shops. He's mad. You want to take a picture, officer? Come on. I'm good. Jump on. Yes. Very good jump. Thank you. Just to be this yes? There aren't many places quite like it, and while it's well worth visiting, you might get a little overwhelmed while wandering around the city. Hammam is a great way to heal and relax your mind and body when you want to take a break from the hustle and bustle of Marrakesh. Hammam, the Turkish version of a public Roman bathhouse, has had a long history since it emerged into existence in 600 AD. Commonly known as a Turkish bath, Hammam was adapted from its Roman roots and gradually evolved to its current status as an indispensable cultural activity in Turkish society. Wow. <laughs> However, Hammams are not exclusively Turkish experiences, and variations have also emerged in other Arabic societies most significantly in Morocco. Moroccan hammams are as well known as their Turkish counterparts and are a major part of Moroccan life. Just like Turkey, traditional hammams are also widely available in most cities of Morocco. You can spot a local hammam in the street quite easily in Morocco, but when I try to get in, there is one problem. The receptionist told me that I can't take any pictures or videos inside, which I was kind of expecting. Although the hammams I had visited in other countries, such as Turkey, allowed me to film, that just because they are more laid-back establishments, and as a YouTuber, I knew I shouldn't take that type of treatment for granted. In particular, I was aware that some Moroccan people are very sensitive to cameras. So it totally makes sense that filming is forbidden in such an intimate space as a hammam. But I really wanted to record my first Moroccan hammam experience, so I changed my strategy and decided to go to a private tourist hammam instead, since I thought if there were no other people, they could allow me to film inside. I found a hammam near Medina, so I asked the staff if I could bring my camera inside. Hello. Good, how are you? Is this a hammam? She said there were other customers at that time. But if I came back in one hour, they would be gone so it would be okay to take a video inside. It was great news to me, so I came back one hour later when not only the staff but the shop owners also welcomed me at the entrance. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. 
You YouTuber? Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, welcome. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Japan. Oh, Japan. She told me that she wants to get photos. Where? Oh, she, she told you that? Yes. Okay. Is it okay? Could, yes, could take no a problem, picture and yeah. videos? No yeah, You're thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Which like, welcome in the Thank you. So I finally got in, being excited to experience a Moroccan hammam for the first time. Before we actually start bathing in the beautiful Moroccan hammam, I want to tell you about something that is as beneficial for your health as a hammam. During the Morocco trip, I was using this stylish sleep mask on the plane and the bus. It's produced by Manta Sleep, which is known for their amazing quality sleep masks. I got Manta Sleep Mask Pro, and I can tell you that it's definitely the best sleep mask I've ever tried, as it offers 100% blackout for deeper sleep, zero pressure on your eyes, comfortable materials, and breathability. Of course, they also have other great sleep masks for all of your slumber-related needs, such as a steam mask, an aroma mask, and many more. The great news is that you can get a 10% discount with my coupon code NOMADIC WEST in all capitals with no spaces for 30 days after this video is released. So please go to the Manta Sleep website from the link in the description and get their top notch sleep masks. Okay, let's get back to Hamam. First, she took me to a beautifully decorated lobby. While they were preparing the room, I was making myself comfortable with some welcome tea. When everything was ready, she took me to a changing room and gave me instructions. So you change and put your everything in the locker, then close, keep the key with you. Okay. This is under one for you. Okay. This is a towel. Towel. Slippers. Slippers. Okay, okay everything. Thank you. <laughs> Usually, you have to bring your own towel, slippers, and other stuff when you go to a hammam in Morocco. But because it's a tourist hammam, they gave me everything I needed. So this is a changing room. I'm gonna put on this underwear that they gave me. When I tried to go into a steam room after changing, the staff told me that I can film inside, but only before getting the treatment. It was quite a shame that I couldn't record the moment I was actually experiencing the hammam. But I will explain what it was like to you. The first step is to sit back and relax in the steam room. The steam will gradually open your pores, and a few deep breaths will ease you into relaxation. As you let go of the stress of wandering through a bustling market market. It was very relaxing, and I noticed that it was not as hot as the Turkish hammams I had tried before. Actually, Turkish and American hammams are heated in different ways, which gives bathers a slightly varied experience. Turkish hammams are heated solely by hot and dry steam circulating through the room, which causes you to immediately sweat a lot. On the other hand, Heat in Moroccan hammam is generated through hot water running through the taps, walls, and floors, which creates a more subtle steam bath experience. After about 5 minutes, an attendant comes into the room to soap up your entire body. There's a difference in the soap too. In a Turkish hammam, they use a soapy ladder and literally cover your whole body with it. However, Moroccan hammam uses thick organic black soap made out of the hulls of black olives. It kind of looks like molasses or crude oil, but it actually fit great on my skin. Once applied, I was left for a while to relax and allow the skin to react with the soap and steam. To complete the process of cleansing and exfoliation, the thick soap was scrubbed and rinsed off. Now it's time for a massage. We move to a massage room with dim lighting, separated by curtains. The oil massage that the attendant gave me was so relaxing and I almost fell asleep. This was the biggest difference from the Turkish hammam, where I was practically abused by the masseur. Oh, oh. 
I'm not looking forward to that bit. In this Moroccan hammam, the whole experience was like a pleasant spa, and my skin felt very clean and smooth afterwards. It was so good. It's a shame that I couldn't film it, but it was worth it. Like my face is kind of red. Yeah, but yeah, it was good. I put on the clothes. It's always a fun to experience local culture like this. And fortunately, I could recharge my mental battery that I was rapidly losing in the noisy and lively city of Marrakesh. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice night. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I hope I can also try a more local Moroccan hammam next time, like the one that only Moroccans often go to. Although I assume I'm probably not allowed to film at those ones. If you enjoyed this video, it would be so nice if you thumbs up and leave a comment. My Marco trip just started, so if you want to see more Marco videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.